What novel or interesting feature of a pen do you wish would catch on more? Okay, um, I thought about this a little bit and, um, you know, Colin uh, helps me choose these questions and he gave a little recommendation of like, you know, maybe the hook safe lock on the Homo sapiens. And I was like, oh, spot on, Colin, spot on. I'm a huge fan of that hook safe lock. Uh, I love it for the quick draw aspect. It just feels good and it feels like springy. Now this is a proprietary patented kind of thing that Visconti developed. So you couldn't just take this exact thing and put it on all pens unless they just felt super generous and wanted to free up that patent for everybody else to do it. Not likely to happen because that's not really how business works. Uh, but I like the concept of um, just a different kind of capping mechanism. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the, the pens that take three rotations to undo. You know, that's uh, that's something that uh, actually, and that, that reminds me because um, this is a completely random thought that popped into my head, but we have um, the Conklin Duraflex and the Turquoise, which, um, uh, has a three rotation cap. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, it popped in my head because, um, it's different than some of the other pens. Um, and we always try to put the number of cap rotations that's required on our site. And this pen threw us for a little bit of a loop because I wasn't aware that it was going to be any different until they all showed up. And at that point, it's kind of like too late to do anything about it. So, um, my apologies to anybody that got one of these and was like, huh, that is different. But all the other Duraflexes and stuff that we had before, um, they wanted to change it because they wanted the engraving to line up exactly with the clip. And I was like, okay, that's cool, but it takes three rotations. So I don't know that people care about that quite as much. So they did it with a good intention, but it just kind of missed a bit in communication when we got it. So, um, you know, it's things like that that you learn just being in the pen business. Um, and the reason why you can have different rotations like that is um, a pen like that will have what's called a single start thread. So it only has one point in the thread where it can catch. And then it's always going to stop in the same place. A lot of other pens will have what's called a triple start thread. You can do a double as well, but it basically is how many entry points does it have. Um, and however many entry points you have, it cuts down how many rotations you're going to have to do by that multiple. So if you have a pen that is a single thread that takes three rotations, if you'd put a triple thread on the same cap, you would then theoretically, if the cap, if the threads were the same length, you would only require one rotation in order to do it. And one rotation to me is just about perfect. Something like the Homo sapiens though, with this hook safe lock, it's actually got five entry points on it. So it only takes one fifth of a rotation because it's really just, it just locks right in place there. I mean, it, it, it only moves this much to undo it. So, but it's still very secure. So this is why this is my favorite capping mechanism. Of course you can do magnetic cap and other things like that, but I think doing some kind of innovative, quick locking, easy to do and undo thing, um, is something that I would like to see on more pens. So that's one thing that came to mind. Um, something else that I think I would really like to see more is hooded nibs. Um, you know, the, the, this was a more popular with vintage pens. And, uh, I mean, I guess the Lamy 2000 could kind of qualify. It's still being made today, but it's over 50 years old. Um, but, uh, and then it's semi hooded. It's not like hooded all the way. It's not like a Parker 51 where you can like only see the very tip of it. Um, but still I like it because you can hold it down closer to and not worry about getting ink on your fingers. Aesthetically, it's got a very different design to it. You don't see that big, beautiful nib and you don't really have any like intricate designs or engraving or anything on the nib. So you lose that a little bit, but it also helps to keep the pen from drying out while you're writing with it. So I find that with hooded nibs, you tend to be able to hold them out in the open longer than you do if you have this big exposed nib and feed. So that's something I really like about those hooded nibs and I wish that more companies were designing hooded nibs. And just because I guess you don't see them very often, uh, I'm more intrigued when I do see them like that. Maybe I would feel differently if they were much more available. I would get sick of them more. Uh, and then the other feature, I'm gonna give you three on this one. Uh, uh, the other feature that I would just like to see more is ink windows. Um, you know, there's. Uh, d usually demonstrator pens are some of the more popular styles and colors, especially if it's like a colored tinted demonstrator, that's usually pretty popular. Um, and as much as I love pens like my Homo sapiens, I can't tell how much ink is in this thing. So there are times throughout my life where I go to use this pen, I'm in the middle of church or I'm in the middle of a meeting or something like that. And this pen starts to dry up a little bit and I'm like, ah, I didn't fill this pen, you know, and I fill it maybe once a week and that's usually pretty good for based on how much I'm writing with that specific pen. 
but sometimes if I don't remember to do that, I end up running out and it's like, oh man, if I had an ink window in there, then I would be able to just kind of check and see. And the Lamy 2000 has that, and I like that a lot. And not a lot of pens have ink windows necessarily. Pelican's really good about that. Lamy's pretty good about that. They have, even though in their Safari and All-Star, they have an ink window for the converter to be able to see. Um, and I know it's extra steps, it's extra work. Aesthetically, it changes the design a little bit, but I really like it as a functional thing. I'm much more of a function over form uh, kind of guy, so I, I really appreciate when there's that kind of stuff in there. So that's something that I would like to see a little bit more too. So there you have it. Unique quick locking cap mechanisms, hooded nibs, and ink windows. Purely my personal preference, but that's what you get.